War Diary Day 584 of Russia's war against Ukraine. So I'm in the Lavra, which is this ancient buildings, ancient church buildings. And behind me, the story goes that the Stalinists blew all of this up in 1941 and blamed that on the Nazis. It's still disputed, but pretty much that's uh, where history finds itself. So all of this, everything you can see behind me and where I am now, as far as the Kremlin concerned, it's a joke, it's a fairy tale, it doesn't exist. There is no serious reason for Ukraine to distinguish itself from Russia. And that itself is a lie, and that itself is a fairy story, and a dark one. Because it's Vladimir Putin's justification for his war. Really, this is a dark fantasy, and the idea that it's still going on and as we speak. My friends in the Ukrainian army are risking their lives to defend this place, this history this people, this country, this nation, that the idea that we in the West are not doing enough to help our Ukraine friends is maddening. We've got to do more, and we should do so right now. By the way, latest news is the British are thinking about sending troops to, um, to Ukraine to train. Good. That's a good tactical move, but strategically, are we doing enough? No. No, we're not. So I have a simple message for Vladimir Putin. Because of where I am, I'm not going to spell it out today. But you know how it goes. Don't forget the war.